What's up guys, Asan Malik back here, and in today's video we're going to be doing another top 10 list. This list is going to be the top 10 best LEGO Iron Man suits ever made. So this whole list is solely going to be based off my opinion. These are the best Iron Man suits that I think LEGO has made so far. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get right into it with our number 10 spot. And that is going to be Iron Man's Mark 47 armor. I don't actually know the name of this armor, it doesn't really have like a nickname. It's the armor that he wears in Spider-Man Homecoming. This suit is pretty much identical to the Mark 46 that we see in Captain America Civil War, only now it has this silver paint applications and everything going all throughout the lower portion of his body. Now the reason I put this figure in this list was because I thought that the Mark 46 armor looked a little bit bland even though it was such an awesome suit, and I think this upgrade to the Mark 46 armor was just enough to make it look even more awesome and make it stand out just a little bit more, and I think it makes the minifigure look really awesome here. The Iron Man suits always have the same dark red and gold color scheme, so this one switches it up a little bit, and I really like it when the Iron Man suits do that, when they try and give us something a little bit different from the norm. So while we're going through this list, you're going to be seeing a lot of the top ranking Iron Man suits here are the ones that have a bunch of different color schemes and Whatnot, but we'll get to that in just a bit. This minifigure was only included in one set, which was Beware the Vulture. It came out when Homecoming came out last year in 2017, and that was the only way you can get this figure, but it is a really nice figure, and I'm sure a lot of you guys picked up this set and already have this one in your collections, but overall, it's a really nice Iron Man suit. I just like how it shakes things up a little bit from the normal suits that we get. But that's going to do it for our number 10 spot onto our number 9 spot here. And this suit isn't actually Iron Man himself, this is actually War Machine here. Now I know some of you guys are probably a little bit confused or upset with me that I added War Machine into a top 10 Iron Man suit list. But the reason I added him in here is because the War Machine suit is pretty much an Iron Man suit, just modified to Rhodey specifications. And the way the minifigure is designed is exactly like an Iron Man suit, so I thought it really needs to be in this list here. And the reason I decided to add this version of the War Machine armor, which is actually one of three different armors that we've gotten. We got this version, we got the Iron Patriot, and we got the Civil War variant as well. Honestly, I think this version looks the best out of all of them, even though it may not be the most up-to-date suit there is on this list. And the printing isn't as nice as some of the newer figures, because it was made back in 2014. But I still think this is the best version of the War Machine suit we've gotten. The Iron Patriot I thought was a little bit too flashy, and I just didn't like it overall. I never actually liked the armor in the movie as well. And I'm really glad they got rid of it because I've always thought the Iron Patriot suit looked really weird even in the movies itself. I really didn't like it in Iron Man 3 and I'm glad he switched back when it came time for Civil War and Age of Ultron and everything else. And the reason I didn't go with the Civil War minifigure either is because I think the Civil War minifigure just looks kind of bad in my opinion. I don't really like how they molded the entire figure in black plastic. I think that was a complete wrong choice. Because although the suit is dark in the movies, it's not actually black, it's just a really dark grey. And I think the dark grey that LEGO has for the regular War Machine would have been fine for that figure as well. But that's how LEGO decided to design that War Machine suit, which is a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, that's pretty much why I chose the first version of the War Machine suit. This one was also exclusive to one set as well. It was included in one set all the way back in 2014, Iron Man Extremis Seaport Battle. It was a smaller set, I'm sure a lot of you guys actually own this one as well. And overall, it's a really great figure. It's like the cheapest way that you can get Rhodey so far. All the other versions of this character are extremely expensive, like the Iron Patriot and the Civil War version. But yeah, overall, it's a really great armor. I knew right when I decided to make this list, I knew that the War Machine armor had to be in here somewhere. And I think this is the best version of War Machine we've gotten so far. So he's going to be taking our number 9 spot on this list. And on to number 8 here, which is going to be the Iron Man Mark 44 armor, also known as the Hulkbuster. Now I know this looks a little bit weird because this isn't a minifigure, it's an actual built set. But technically it still is a LEGO Iron Man suit, so it will be added into this list. And we've actually gotten multiple versions of this suit from LEGO before. We got the one back in 2015 in the Hulkbuster Smash set. And while I do think LEGO did a good job with that suit in that set, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, LEGO actually made an updated version of this suit. They made that huge Ultron Edition Hulkbuster. That is actually also the Mark 44 Hulkbuster as well. And I just think that version looks a lot better, obviously, because it costs a lot more, it has a lot more pieces, it's just going to look better overall. So this is definitely the best version of the Hulkbuster we've gotten in LEGO form. It's a really iconic suit, so it definitely had to be in this list as well. Although I do dislike a lot of different aspects about this armor here, such as the shoulders and the overall proportions of the build. I just thought it looks a little bit weird and just off. I still do think it overall looks like a nice Iron Man suit and does get the look of the Hulkbuster across in the build. And yeah, overall, it's just the best version of the Hulkbuster that we've gotten in LEGO form. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do for our Hulkbuster and the number 8 spot on our list. On to number 7 here, which is our Mark 37 Scuba Suit Iron Man. This suit is based off a suit that was seen in Iron Man 3 extremely briefly. It was mainly just in the background. And the set it was included in, which was the Iron Skull sub-attack, isn't actually based around the Marvel Cinematic Universe either. 
but this minifigure is still based off the version of the suit that we see in Iron Man 3. Looking at the figure here, one of the reasons it's on this list is because of the color of this suit. It's got this really nice sand green with a nice accent of bronze as well. The bronze, I think, also stands out a lot, which is really nice to see. They really did a nice job with that printing there for the bronze. It really is just really metallic and stands out a lot. This Iron Man suit is also different from a lot of the other Iron Man suits we get in the way that it has a body armor piece as well. Also with a little flat stud which makes up the arc reactor on his chest. Usually most of the Iron Man suits just have printing on the basic minifigure torso. But I like it when LEGO does this and try and give us different types of Iron Man suits which make them look a little bit more original and unique. And I think LEGO did a great job with this figure here in making it look unique and stand out compared to the other Iron Man figures that we've seen. Although this isn't my favorite Iron Man suit based on looks because while it's not the coolest looking Iron Man suit, I just really like the colors on this one. And it definitely looks a lot more interesting than the basic red and gold that we usually get. But that's going to do it for the scuba suit Iron Man. On to our next figure here. At our number 6 spot we have the micro figure Iron Man. This is the only micro figure version of Iron Man that we've ever gotten. And as micro figures go, this is one of the most detailed micro figures ever made. I mean, the scale of this figure is just so small in the way they were able to make such fine detailed prints into this such a small scaled figure is just really amazing on LEGO's part. I mean, they really didn't have to add leg printing and torso printing on this figure, but they went ahead and decided to add it anyways. This one's actually based off the Mark 43 suit that we see in Age of Ultron, and it only did come in one set, which was extremely large, which was the Shield Helicarrier. It was another like UCS type set. It was extremely large. I'm sure you guys remember the set I'm talking about. It also had a bunch of other micro figures in that set, but Iron Man was one of them. And I thought the Iron Man figure was one of the best there as well because of the prints and how accurate it looks to the actual Iron Man minifigure at such a small scale. But yeah, there's not much else to talk about this micro figure. I mean, there's not much really going on here other than some really small detailed prints. But yeah, that's going to do it for our number six spot. Alright guys, we are now halfway through our list. At number 5, we have our exclusive Toy Fair version of Iron Man that was released all the way back in 2012. Now, I could be wrong on this, but I don't think this suit is actually based off any suits that we've seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It might be based on a suit that we've seen in the comics, but I don't know which one that is. So if you guys do know, make sure to go down in the comments below and let me know. But this figure was released all the way back in 2012 at New York Toy Fair. I think it was released at another Toy Fair as well, but I could be wrong about that. Now, the figure itself isn't really that special. I mean, the prints on it are pretty bland. It doesn't even have leg printing here or anything. And for some reason, the hands are molded in red plastic, which doesn't even match the body of the figure, which is a little bit weird. But this figure was actually released in really small quantities and was kind of just given out to people at the toy fair. And because of that, this figure is actually extremely valuable right now. It was released alongside a Captain America figure, and now both those figures are just worth a lot of money these days, just because of how rare they are. But that's not even the reason why this figure is on this list. The reason this figure looks so special to me is because this is the only Iron Man suit that doesn't use a custom helmet mold. I remember when first LEGO announced they were going to be making Iron Man minifigures, there was a lot of debate whether the Iron Man minifigure would have a custom made helmet or whether it would be a face print on its head. And then LEGO released this figure and then we all thought it was going to have a printed headpiece. Which I actually don't prefer, I like how they have a custom made helmet piece. But it's still kind of cool to see what the Iron Man figure would have looked like if LEGO didn't decide to make a new mold for it. I'm really glad LEGO decided to give us a helmet piece instead of doing this face printing here because this print just looks really small compared to the rest of the Iron Man body here. Like the face mask portion of the Iron Man suit just looks really tiny compared to everything else. And it just looks a little bit weird but it still is cool to see. And yeah, overall just a really rare minifigure. If any of you guys own this, please let me know down in the comments below. That'd be really awesome to hear. I personally don't own this one and I don't know if I ever will. I think it's worth a few thousand dollars at the moment. But yeah, still a really interesting figure. And who knows, maybe we'll see a figure like this in the future as well. But that's going to do it for our number 5 spot. On to number 4 here. And this is Iron Man's Mark 50 Infinity War suit. Now, I don't know if this is actually Mark 50 or not. We don't actually know exactly what Mark is going to be. But based on the brick heads that LEGO has released for this exact same suit, they call it Iron Man Mark 50 on the box. So that's what I'm going to be going with here. I'm going to call it Mark 50 as well. I don't know what Mark 49 or 48 is. I'm assuming Mark 49 is going to be one of the Hulkbuster suits. And I don't know what Mark 48 is. Maybe it was just like a regular suit he was using in between Homecoming and Infinity War. But yeah, enough about the naming of this suit. Looking at the actual figure here, it's just a really well done figure. The biggest difference between this and all the other Iron Man suits is this big booster piece he has on his back. I know a lot of people don't actually like this thing. They think it looks a little bit too large compared to the figure. And while, yeah, it is completely out of scale compared to the version that we've seen in other action figures and whatnot, but for a LEGO figure, I think it still works because LEGO figures in general just aren't very realistic. They're usually really unproportionate. I mean, just look at the helmet piece of Iron Man. It's just really unproportionate compared to the rest of his body. So because of that, I think it matches pretty well. And I do actually like the booster pieces build as well. I think it was built up pretty nicely. And while it does use stickers, which is kind of unfortunate, it would have been nicer to have prints. 
I think it still makes for an awesome addition to this minifigure and just kind of makes it a little bit more unique and stand out compared to the regular Iron Man suits that we get. One other cool thing about this minifigure is the prints that they use here. For the arc reactor and eye slits, they're actually blue this time instead of white, which is pretty awesome. I actually like that better because it's a little bit more accurate to the movies. Because in the movies, his arc reactor always glows blue, not white. So I like how they did that here with this figure. One other cool thing about this figure is how it uses this light red print on a dark red torso piece. It is a really small thing that LEGO does, but I do like how they do that because it just makes the suit overall look a lot more curvy and a lot more organic, just like how it looks like in the movies. As I'm sure you guys have already seen, the Infinity War suit in the film is really smooth and kind of streamlined. It looks almost alien-like, and I think the way LEGO handled the printing on this figure just really captures that look and puts it into minifigure form here. I think that looked really cool with this figure. Hopefully Tony Stark does make it through Infinity War and this won't be the last version of the Iron Man suit we'll be getting in LEGO form here. But that's just me really speculating. I don't know what's going to happen in Infinity War. But yeah, overall it's a really great suit. This is actually the newest version of the Iron Man suit that we've gotten so far. And it definitely is one of the best versions that LEGO has ever made. Alright guys, now we're at our top 3 suits here. At our number 3 spot, we have the Mark 39 Suborbital Suit, aka the Gemini. Just like the scuba suit, this suit was also seen in Iron Man 3 just flying around as one of the random suits in the background. And it was also included in a random set as well, not in a Marvel Cinematic Universe set. And that set is the Avenjet Space Mission, which came out in 2016. Now the main thing that I like about this figure is the white color scheme that we get here. I think it looks extremely awesome with this gold accent color. It just really blends and meshes really nicely here. And one other cool thing about the prints going on here is that you can actually see a little bit of metallic gunmetal gray printing going on with a little octagon pattern on his legs and chest as well. Another cool thing about this figure is the print on the faceplate. It's a little bit different from the regular Iron Man suits that we get in the way that the faceplate is actually thinner towards the bottom of the head there, which is pretty cool to see. It just makes the figure look a little bit more different. And I like it when we get Iron Man suits that look different from the norm here. Another cool piece of printing on this figure is for the eyes. The eyes are actually printed in two different layers. It has a bottom layer of blue, then white on top. And I think that gives the perfect effect for the eyes for the Iron Man suit. I think it looks even better than the version that we see in the Infinity War armor. I think it looks a lot more accurate than that as well. Overall, this figure just has some amazing prints paired with a really nice color scheme with the white armor here. It just looks really unique, really awesome. And even when Iron Man 3 was originally coming out, when I saw this Iron Man suit, I was like, this is one of the best looking Iron Man suits I've ever seen. And I think LEGO did a great job with it here, converting into minifigure form. And it looks just as awesome here as well. But yeah, overall, it's another great Iron Man suit. And that's going to do it for the number three spot. And for our second best Iron Man suit here, we have the Invincible Iron Man suit. This Iron Man suit is actually based off Iron Man from the all new, all different Marvel comics. And the reason that I like this figure so much, even though it has some really basic prints going on here, is mainly because of that new headpiece there. This is the first Iron Man suit that doesn't use the same head mold as the others. This one doesn't actually have a face mask that lifts up. Instead, it has a printed mask here, which I think actually looks really nice. I know a lot of people didn't really like how this figure looked, but I think for the source material they were going for, I think LEGO did a great job with this figure. I also like how they decided to go with the bright red instead of the dark red here. Because I've read the comics that he wears this suit in, and in the comics it's a lot more of a bright red, it's not that same dark red that we've seen in the movies. And I think the bright red paired with the gold just looks really awesome. It adds a lot of contrast to the figure, and just makes it stand out a lot. And I think the fact that they overall kept the prints really simple, kind of adds to the comic book feel that you get from this minifigure. I actually own this one in my collection, and I think it looks really awesome standing next to the other Iron Man suits, just based on how different it looks compared to everything else. I really hope LEGO decides to go ahead and give us more suits with this headpiece here. I think it works really well for a sleeker Iron Man suit. And I think LEGO will do a great job giving us different variants of this armor like we see in the comics. But yeah guys, it's pretty much going to do it for our number 2 spot. And now we are at our number 1 best LEGO Iron Man suit ever made. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have guessed it at this point. But the best LEGO Iron Man suit ever made is going to be the Mark 33, aka the Silver Centurion. And wow, just by looking at this figure, I think you guys can tell why I put this at my number one spot on this list. This is one of the most detailed and well-printed figures I've ever seen LEGO make. Starting at the bottom here with the legs, it has toe printing, it has basic leg printing on the front as well, but then it also has side leg printing that continues and looks extremely detailed on the figure. That same leg printing also rolls up onto his hips and onto his torso as well, which is really awesome. This figure also has another added armor piece, which I think works really well with this figure. Based on how it looks in Iron Man 3, I think this added torso piece is really necessary and just really captures the look of the Silver Centurion. They also use a printed tile piece right there to make the arc reactor, which I think looks really great. And I think one of the coolest parts about this figure is the arm printing here. The arms are actually dual molded in silver and red, which is really awesome to see. And then on top of that, they're also printed 
with this extremely nice detailing going all the way down his arm. One of the coolest parts about this suit is that it actually has blades which protrude from his wrists. We actually get to see that in Iron Man 3 and they kind of did capture the look of it here with the arm printing. This figure is just extremely well printed, extremely well detailed and I think it might be one of the most detailed Lego minifigures ever actually made. And because of all the detail and the added armor piece, and the nice silver accent color instead of the basic gold just make this figure really unique and extremely awesome looking and because of that it's going to take my number one spot on this list now this minifigure is kind of exclusive the only way you could get it was by pre-ordering the lego avengers game i believe so because of that this figure is quite pricey at the moment i'm actually trying to get my hands on one myself and if i actually do end up getting one i'll let you guys know in a later video but yeah this is overall just a really amazing iron man suit it's an extremely well done minifigure on lego's part and i think it's a great testament to lego's printing abilities and their ability to think outside of the box by adding new armor pieces and using tiles and whatnot just trying to stay away from the norm and give us things that are different and try and make this Iron Man minifigure look more and more unique every time they make a new variant. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to do it for our top 10 best LEGO Iron Man suits ever made. And again guys, this list is completely based off my opinion. So if you guys do disagree, which is completely okay, make sure to go down in the comments below and let me know what your top 10 best LEGO Iron Man suits ever made are. I really want to hear you guys' opinions on this. Or if you agree with my list, go ahead and let me know as well. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more top lists on LEGO Marvel, DC, and Star Wars, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I do a bunch of videos just like this one. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.